In today's Madden 24 video, I'm going to break down by far the biggest glitch play in the entire game. Now, we're going to be looking at the balance playbook. This play is only found in the balance playbook, and it's going to be with this single back tight flex. Now, I'm going to get straight into breaking down this play, but first I want to show you guys the audibles you'll want to use with this play. So, in the single back tight flex out of balance, I want to have the HP dive, the off tackle, the bench, and the slot corners audibles. I'll explain why in a second. Now the play we're going to come out in is going to be the HB slip screen and I prefer if I have a right handed quarterback to flip this to run it so the corner route is running to the right. If I have a left handed quarterback, yes I can just go ahead and run it to the left but I prefer running the corner route to the hand of my quarterback so if I have again a right handed quarterback I'm going to go ahead and flip this. So this will work literally against every defense in the game when you know what you're doing as I'm about to show you guys. So. There's a few different things that you need to know about this play as far as personnel and just little tricks about this play before I even get into running the play. The first thing is, is you need a fast quarterback. That's like the one requirement with this play is a fast quarterback. I am using Bo Jackson. You know, he's 99 speed. He has a really good release. He can throw. I mean, he has really everything you need. And, you know, he has the best abilities possible to run this scheme. For instance, you can put Truss on him. Trust is basically going to make it so that you never can fumble once it's activated. So, like, you know, you can just run around and you're not going to fumble. I mean, I, I have seen, like, strips once in a blue moon, but nine times out of ten, you don't have to worry about fumbling. Not only that, Bo Jackson, you know, gets roaming dead eye for, you know, he's got roaming dead eye. You don't need hot rod master with the scheme either, which is nice. You can get gunslinger, gift wrapped. But the biggest scene here is this HP slip screen because we're an under center and we're running a screen pass. Literally, as soon as we snap the ball, we can roll out and, and have no delay in rolling out. And what that does basically makes this impossible to defend the rollout. As you're going to see, you can blitz guys. You can contain guys. Uh, nothing stops it. You can play coverage. There's no way to consistently stop this rollout unless you user it. The problem is, is you really can't user this rollout because this slip screen is unique in that it's from a tight formation with a corner route, streaks... A crossing route going to the side of the corner route and then a slip screen on the back side so there's just so many options here on this play is crazy so now I want to show you guys some examples of how to run this and when to use your audibles but before that I want to remind you guys I do free Madden 24 videos on a daily basis on my channel high level gameplays and tips so if you enjoyed this content man smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new comment if I get to 500 likes on this video I will show you guys a full scheme you can run with this playbook and this scheme all right so Let's just show a few examples. You know, you might think blitzing your slot corners would stop this. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I might too, but you know, it's not. And there is kind of like a way you got to run this properly, which I'll explain to you guys here, but this is how you're going to do it. So as you guys can see here, you're immediately going to be able to roll out. Now, the way you do this is pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the replay and show you guys how to do this. First thing is, as soon as I snap the ball, I'm already holding down on the analog stick to the side I want to roll out to. So if I want to roll out right, which I am here, I'm already holding down, more so down, but slightly to the right. Because that immediately, you guys can see, like I'm running back immediately. And then because these pursuit angles are bad, I can get outside of them. Then, you know, the other thing is I am already turboing. Now I see some people that try to run this immediately, like run to the side without running back. And honestly, I feel like while that can work, that will get you in trouble sometimes, but if you run back and then out, like I feel like it's literally impossible to stop this. So first of all, I'm outside of the pocket. So at this point, I could scramble, but as you guys see, look at all these options I here. I have here. I have streaks. I have a, a, a screen that's wide open. I have a corner route, and I have a crossing route. Now in this case, the corner basically got matched. Normally, that's going to be wide open, but this is what makes the play nice. Yes, I could scramble, but also I can throw the crosser back over the middle of the field, just like that. Bam. This is literally undefendable once you get outside the pocket. Because as the user, you have there's nothing you can do. You either have to user the scramble, user the corner route, or user the crossing route and still have the screen backside. It's literally impossible. It, it is. Do you want to become a better Madden player and win more games? If so, check out my premium Madden strategy website, sportsgamers.com. I have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best Madden tips best Madden ebooks and schemes, all from the pros, at the lowest price possible. I have helped thousands upon thousands of Madden players improve their games, and I can help you as well. Our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet, 
This membership will include all of our Madden ebooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. And watch this. I'm going to do this again. So again, as soon as I snap the ball, I'm just holding down and to the right. I immediately roll out. And you guys can see here with the roaming dead eye, all you do is release the turbo button before you throw the ball. And it's going to be a complete, a completely accurate pass every single time. Another thing about this is contains do not work. A lot of people, I've seen say, well, just like blitz your corners and then contain. Uh, it doesn't work. So you guys can see here, again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm immediately out. And I mean, it's a dot every single time. The only way you can really stop this is with your user. But it's very, very hard to do that. Another thing I want to go over is why you even have these audibles to, to begin with. And then I'm going to show you how this will work against four defensive line sets, like 4-3 even, right? So first of all, I have plays on my audibles in case you're doing stupid stuff. First of all, yes, could I roll out if your whole line spread? Of course, I, I could. But like, also, you're giving me 5 to 10 free yards on a dive. So if I see your entire D-line is spread out, I'm just going to audible to the dive and, you know, I've seen people run this scheme that don't even use any other plays, and they're just making it hard. If you're going to keep your whole defense spread, you're going to want to run the dive. All right? It's just that simple. Um, the dive is going to be like, you know, those 5, 10 yards, if not more. And, you know, you get crazy. You know? Get the touchdown. I don't know. You know? But it's, it's easy. Next thing. All-out man-to-man blitzes. Like, yes. Could you roll out on an all-out man-to-man blitz? Sure. But, again, you're kind of making it hard for yourself because if you know they're just sitting in all-out man that's why we have slot corner or bench in our audibles. We can literally snap the ball and just throw corners and outs and posts and drags and, you know, whoop man for a one play touchdown. Finally, if you just notice that they are, you know, have just bad run defense in general, I've noticed guys like that, that like the pinch dollar. This HB off tackle run is like really, 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 really good. It's actually so underrated. I feel like it's one of the best run plays in the game. It was really good last year too. This is just another good play. Like, you don't want to, even though this play is so good, you don't want to run it every play because then, you know, the defense can key on key on it. Now, now the other thing about this play is, like, yes, I did say that I prefer to run it to the right if I have a right-handed quarterback, but you can run it to either side of the field no matter what hand your quarterback is. So another thing I'd say is make sure you have identifier because you want to see the user. Maybe they, you can see they're setting up adjustments to overplay the, oh, excuse me, overplay the rollout to the right. Maybe they're using someone on the right, which you can see if identifier to user rush you. Hey, just run the corner out to the left. Um, you could come out of it with the corner out to the left if you notice this, just to keep them honest. I mean, it still works. You know, the throw is just easier when you're rolling out to the strong hand of your quarterback. But as you guys can see, I mean, you can still do this. You can still do this easily, right? It's really, really easy. Also, I want to show you guys how this would work in something like a 4-3 even or a dime. A lot of people, you know, they'll be desperate. They'll just be changing up their defenses left and right. Because they literally have no clue how to stop this. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, you know, okay, dime, dollar, whatever. It's not working. Let's go to 4-3 even. Let's just blitz everybody and see what happens. Um, again, you really have no shot here. All we're going to do is just immediately roll out from this. And you guys see, I'm just outside the pocket. Just throwing absolute lasers, right? Finally, don't forget about the slip screen when you run this play. It's probably not the first thing you're thinking of throwing with this play. But I promise you guys, the slip screen across your body can be a big play. Now, you know, sometimes throwing across your body can give you inaccurate throws. I'm not going to lie. It is possible. But most of the time, I feel like you do get a good enough throw that you can get it off. And as you guys see, you have a bunch of blockers in front of you that are going to result in a big play. So once again, if they're not respecting the screen, they're dedicating all their resources to stop the rollout corner and the scramble. Throw that slip screen across your body once or twice. I promise you, you might get a huge play, if not a touchdown. And then they'll have to respect that as well. This play is an absolute glitch. It's caused me a lot of frustration defending this year when I randomly play it. So it's definitely something you guys should look at. Again, balanced playbook.